To install the add-on, go to Edit Preferences and browse for the downloaded zip file and make sure it's enabled. The Select Similar Mesh button will find all the objects with the same number of vertices. Align objects in word space. Center the point of origin. Alternatively, you can select one vertex or a group of vertices and assign them as the origin. There is also a button to select the lowermost vertices of the mesh regardless of its current orientation in world space. The next button will clear any unused materials from all selected objects. Now let's export an object as an FBX file format. Some useful details about the selected object can be found under the last section, such as the number of vertices, use materials, animations, and any shape keys. The ACT is short for actions, but keep in mind you may have to click on the Generate Actions button first, which in turn will create all the necessary non-linear actions to be included as a part of the exported FBX. Two directories will be created, one for the actual object and the other for the relative textures. Drag them into your game engine of choice. I will use Unity today. Find the mesh and drag it to the scene. Extract the materials and assign the textures to the materials. If the materials in Blender are using the principal BDSF, there will be no need to reassign them. However, Shader parameters such as transparency and emission will have to be configured in Unity. Any shape keys or animations will be embedded as well. Links to the repository, art and discord server will be in the description. Thank you for watching.